And I believe that the very first time I heard the voice of God was in Colenza. And I was between the age of 17 and 18. I don't know the exact age. But, you know, the, the, the circus never paid a visit to the smaller play, places. It was always the larger places. Ladysmith or Escort or, you know, Durban, Marysburg, whatever have you. But never places like Colenza. But for some reason or other, they had decided they were coming to Colenza. And I had a friend who was also an, an apprentice, uh, but came from farming stock. And uh, at the end of each day, he would return home to the farm, and I would uh, go to the single quarters where I was staying. And he came to me and he said to me, he said, you know what, he, used to, he was one of the few people that actually used my Christian name. He said, you know what, Elwin, he said, I've never been to a circus. Well, there were four of us that used to knock around together, four terrorists, I suppose. And uh, I said to him, I said, okay, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the circus. So the four of us went. And uh, when we got there, lo and behold, there was a tattooist and uh, there was a fortune teller. So, you know, with my relationship with my dad, I knew he had an absolute hatred for uh, tattoos in any way, shape or form. So I decided, well, this is me. I'll go for a tattoo. I, you know, I'll scramble his eggs for him for a little while. And uh, we were standing in, in, in the queue and the first two guys, one was Tom Harrower and the other one was Robertus uh, Frisch. And then it was my turn and Neville was standing behind me. And as it got to my turn, virtually, I mean, I had a, maybe another two or three steps to go, I heard a voice. And the voice clearly, I mean very clearly, said, I don't want you to do that. And I thought, no, I turned around and I said, what's that never, what, what did you say? He said, I didn't speak. I said, come on, man. He said, no, he said, serious, I, I never said a, a word. Now I'm another step or two closer. And the same voice spoke and said, I don't want you to do that. So I turned around to Neville and I said, Neville, I said, I've heard a voice twice. And this is what the voice said. I don't want you to do that. I'm bailing out. So he said, well, he said, Alwyn, if you bail out, I'll bail out. So the two of us bailed out. Well, lo and behold, there was a fortune teller there. And uh, so the four of us had decided that we were going to go and see the fortune teller. And uh, it so happened that I, I heard the same voice again. I said, I don't want you to do that. And uh, I heard it a second time. I don't want you to do that. Well, the end of the day came and uh, we all went our separate ways and went home and whatever have you. But years before, when, when I first went to boarding school, an aunt of mine had given me a small pocket Bible, uh, a King James. And uh, I don't know, I used to carry this thing around. It didn't mean anything to me, I'll be quite honest. It didn't mean a thing to me at all. But when I got back to my, my room, I, I looked around and I, I found the Bible. and. Uh, I, I said to the Lord, I said, God, you know, if, if that's you that spoke to me today uh, and I'm not actually losing my marbles and, you know, I, I believe I'm just hearing things, will you show me? I mean, I had, I had absolutely no knowledge of God, you know. I don't know what makes you do that, but that's what happened. And so I took the Bible and I opened it at complete random. And it opened up to 1 Samuel 28. And uh, I think we all know that it was the witch of Endor and uh, with regards to the fortune telling and so forth. And uh, I closed the Bible and uh, I asked the Lord, I said, well, okay, at random, I'll, I'll, I'll have another go. Let's find out how you feel about tattoos, you know. And it opened to 1 Leviticus verse 20, 28 and the, the last portion of the verse says, and you're not to take marks on your body. So I believe that at that juncture in my life, uh, it, it was the first time that I'd really heard the voice of God. And uh, I've had a, 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 I don't know, a, a strange sort of walk, I suppose, uh, compared to most people. Uh, and I suppose there are those who, that have had a greater walk than I have and a, a more exciting walk. Uh, I think the following time, uh, before conversion that I heard the voice uh, I was a hockey player and uh, not too bad at it and I had an accident and uh, it was in the genitals 
uh, very severe and uh, went for surgery. And the day that I came out from surgery, uh, I arrived home and we were then living in um, like a duplex, a uh, masonette they used to call in those days. We were in a masonette and it was over Brighton Beach. You could look down onto the, the tidal pool. It was neat tide and the wind was blowing like you cannot believe. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, so much so that you could barely hear it really. And uh, the chemist guy had given me ointment that I had to apply. And I applied this ointment and what I didn't know is that uh, they made a mistake. The ointment actually uh, contained carbolic. The pain was of such an extent that I, I, I couldn't speak. It, it, I just made a blithering so, sort of noise and eventually I, I got out and I said, God help me. And with that, I heard the same voice that I heard in Colenso, read Psalm 121. And there again, it was just incredible. Years before, uh, Denise had given me a Bible for some reason or other. What, what prompted her to do that, I'll, I'll never know, but uh, she gave me this Bible and I hunted around and I found it in, in the most incredible pain. And as I read it, uh, I, I read that I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from when cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. And as I read that, so the pain left. But in the pain actually leaving, everything, the whole atmosphere had become completely quiet as if there was no wind, as if there was no ocean, nothing. It was just absolutely incredibly quiet, you know. To just indicate uh, the severity of the, of the injury, I was off work for 43 days. So the, the, the injury was quite extensive. So, you know, there again, I, I, I heard the voice of, of the Lord.